Hey everybody, Spackman from Adventures with Spackman. Here with a, just an informational video because of the coronavirus that's becoming an epidemic, a worldwide epidemic. Um, it's just a how to be prepared video. I'm sure some of my subscribers don't actually pay attention to uh, prepping videos or anything. So I just want to share this with you guys. So what I have here is just a basic kit. Um, we have medical supplies and hygiene here, masks, cleaning supplies, some other masks, water filtration, and some food. I'm going to go over every one, everything a little more in depth, but it's just a basic kit to help you not survive, but if the roads or cities close down, grocery stores, whatever, you're prepared for a little while. Just so you don't have to go out and get germs and spread germs. So let's go over this a little more carefully which with each area and uh, we'll take it from there. Alright, so let's start off with some food. So you can see I have just some basic canned food here. Some beans, 20 pounds of rice, some noodles. So this is just some cheap stuff that you can get at any grocery store that's shelf stable for up to two years uh, we got some chicken just some chunked canned chicken corn corned beef hash some meat some more packaged chicken back here beef stew another important thing I think is spices so we got a bunch of salt we even have sugar back here I plan on uh, getting some oatmeal so we can have dried oatmeal for quite a while some garlic and onion powder Here's all season back here. That's good on pretty much everything. Uh, bouillon cubes. Just to give some rice or some noodles some flavor. We got spam, tuna, and all that stuff is, you know, a couple dollars off the shelf. Now, this isn't all I have. This is just one of everything that I have stored away. Um, storage we'll get to in a little while, but you can probably see these back here. Um... A higher end price is some dehydrated food. Number 10 cans. I think this is 10 servings. Yeah, 10 servings of dehydrated spaghetti. We have some astronaut food. Some whole strawberries to give anything some flavor. You can get smaller. Uh, two serving sizes of Mountain House. We have some desserts from Packet Gourmets. Oh, some Backpacker Pantry food too. So this is just, these are just some options you can get to last up to two years. Um, so I have, I have Siri reminding me <laughs> in 20 months to eat all this stuff and replace it. Because uh, you don't have to get stuff that lasts for 20 years if you don't plan on, if you plan on eating this within the, you know, two years. So you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money on dehydrated food or prepackaged tubs you can do that and it's great to do that but you don't have to there's cheaper options you can get for everybody that um, wants to get prepared so next thing is gonna be uh, hygiene and medical supplies so I got some triple antibiotic ointment here you get a cut you're gonna need that to make sure you don't get infected because when shit hits the fan and you don't want to go to the hospital for a minor cut, you don't want to get an infection because infections can kill. I got some acid tablets here. I got packages and packages of band-aids. Lots of uh, alcohol back here. Hydrogen peroxide. And of course, a value size pack of gloves. This is 200. It's enough for me and my family um, 50 times going putting gloves on. Um, cheaper chemical stuff to kill germs 99.9% .9 of germs killed disinfectant bleach couple dollars you get a whole gallon of it uh, then you go over to Lysol this stuff is proven well not proven but it, it kills viruses and bacterias so viruses including including the coronavirus it kills um, and then for for safety for going out in public you can wear your gloves and then you have masks, respirator masks. They have to be the N95 or greater. 
N95, I don't know really what it means, but it's it's it filters out the viruses in the air. You can even go one step further and get a respirator with filters in it. I mean, that's a little extreme, but you never know what shit is going to hit the fan. Um, so, yeah, this, I mean, very cheap supplies. You just have to prepare for whatever is going to happen. Because if it happens and you're not prepared, you don't want to go out and have to get this and then it's already gone from the store. So you want to prep prior to an epidemic happening so you're ready for anything just in case. Oh, another important thing, water filtration. In case you don't have clean water, the city cuts off the water and you have to filter it from some other source. Here we go. This filters... 100,000 gallons and it weighs ounces to carry if you're bugging out somewhere and you're leaving but it's a Sawyer mini filter 100,000 gallons of fresh water another thing you want to remember if you are in a bug out situation and you don't and you can't leave your house have some games you know you're gonna have lots of free time keep the kids busy keep yourself busy have some games to play Here's three card games. We have lots of board games. So just make sure you're not just going crazy, stir crazy in the house. Have something to do. All right, now let's talk about storing all this food. Um, a really good thing to get is uh, food grade five gallon buckets. You can pick these up at Walmart. The buckets I think were $2.50 and the lids were $1.50. So that's four bucks for five gallons of storage space. That's great for the 20 pound bag of rice. For any of the noodles, the beans, the cans you don't really need to put in a bucket because they're already sealed and moisture and stuff's not going to come out of them. But the buckets are great to, to hold the stuff that you don't want moisture to get in. So I got five five-gallon buckets. I have a lot of rice, a lot of noodles. Um, what else do I have? Oh, the beans. Beans. I have buckets full of rice, beans, and noodles. So... They're good for about two years, every one of these products. So if you don't use it in two years, you use it for dinner at some point and you replace it again. But I'm going to have all these buckets stored in my basement in a nice, cool, dry area. And it's just a cheap, effective way to keep your food from spoiling even longer or getting moisture in it. Now, they, they, they sell uh, like Patriot Foods. They sell buckets full of dehydrated meals already for you to eat. That last for 20 plus years I think but they're a little on the expensive side if you don't have the money to dish out right away for that you can buy a few of them at a time and just collect them you know or do what I'm doing with a two year supply that will last I have about two two to three weeks worth of food and buckets that me and my family can live off of if we can't get out into the public or we don't want to get out into the public because the epidemic is spreading like crazy. The virus. The coronavirus. Now, in the U.S. where we are, there's, uh, I think, nine confirmed cases right now. But there's 10,000 worldwide with hundreds of deaths already. So these masks are selling out everywhere. If you can get them now, definitely get them. Again, it's the N95 masks you need. You can get them without the cool air respirator that's in the middle. Um, which is more preferred, but if you can only get the ones with the cool air respirator in the middle, then get those because having those is better than nothing. Uh, plastic surgical gloves, very, very important. You don't want to go out touching all sorts of things and then coming home and bringing those germs home. So you need the nitro gloves, examination gloves. Uh, and when you get home, disinfect your body. I mean, don't spray your body down with Lysol, but definitely wash your hands. Throw your gloves and your masks away when you enter your, before you enter your house. You don't want to bring these into your house if you've been out in public wearing these. So you want to throw those away. So you're going to need quite a bit, especially if you plan on going out in the public. I mean, these aren't all I have. This is just one example of everything I have. Another thing for food. Let me get, let me get back to that food. Oil. Vegetable oil. I'm sure olive oil is much better for you. But this is just a ton of calories that you can add to any one of these meals just to add calories and fat. Um, per serving, per one tablespoon is 120 calories. That's a lot with 14 grams of fat. So this is a good way to, 
to just supplement these meals that you have. Add oil to your rice. Just give it that much, that more fat and calories so you can be sustained longer. Same with the noodles. Add it to the noodles. Um, oh, now medical supplies. I didn't go over this very well. You need some ibuprofen or some kind of pain reliever. This is Tylenol and ibuprofen. They're fever reducers. In case you get a fever, you want to reduce it as soon as possible. So you want to have some of this stuff. Um, you also need to be prepared to cook all this stuff. So I have many ways. I have propane. Um, I have my grill outside. I have camping stoves, many camping stoves, backpacking stoves. I have wood burning stoves, um, wood stoves for backpacking and camping. I have a vintage wood stove that has an oven in it with four burners on top. I bought just in case it folds up. It's, it's actually really big, but it folds up flat. Uh, so we can take that with us if, we have a, if it's a bug out situation and you have to leave. We can take that with us. We have a cook cooktop, four burners, an oven, and then it can heat our shelter, whatever that happens to be. Um, just plain wood burning stoves, like little rocket stoves or wood, wood gas stoves. They're great to have. You can burn twigs, boil water to cook your food. Um, the heat up all, any of this, just off of twigs, little wood gas stoves. Um, you know, so just, just be prepared in case anything like this is happening. It's spreading on, it's spreading. I mean, I think President Trump just shut down uh, other countries from coming into the U.S. Uh, via plane or anything else. Um, so it's, it's a big problem. China has... I mean, they're shutting down cities. You can't get out. You can't leave. So what if that happens here? You need to be prepared. So this was this is not what you should do. This is what I did for my family. You can take from it. You can add to it. Do whatever you have to. But just remember, be prepared. Because otherwise, what's going to happen if shit hits the fan? You know? If you're not prepared, you may not survive. So thanks for joining me on this little episode. I just wanted to chime in on the whole coronavirus and being prepared for it. So thanks again. Remember, food, medical supplies, cleaning supplies, all that. You just need it. Toilet paper, you need toilet paper, bleach, anything to disinfect. You need all that stuff. So thanks again for joining me on this adventure. I'm Spackman from Adventures of Spackman. I'll see you on the next one.